Despite all the added complexity, the plug-in CT6 ends up weighing only 93 pounds more than a loaded 3.0 TT model, by our measurements, and 360 pounds more than a 3.6L sedan. Both of those CT6s have standard all-wheel drive, which isn't available for the hybrid, but the relative lightness of the CT6 plug-in a BMW 740EX drive plug-in weighs 204 pounds more gives it the same impressive dynamics that we've found in the conventional versions. The CT6 hybrid changes direction eagerly, its steering wheel is communicative, and its ride is firm and composed, making it much more enjoyable to pilot than the floaty and ponderous BMW. The 740E the CT6S only obvious competitor now that the Mercedes-Benz S550E plug-in has disappeared with the S-Class's 2018 refresh does have a slight edge on the Cadillac when it comes to efficiency. The EPA rates the BMW at 64 mpg e combined while using electric power and 27 mpg combined in hybrid mode, slightly above the Cadillac's 62 mpg e and 26 mpg numbers. That discrepancy played out in our real-world testing, where the 740E achieved a 35 mpg result on our 75 mph highway test, to the CT6S 31 mpg. As it does with the standard CT6, Cadillac aggressively prices this full-size hybrid luxury sedan. The CT6 plug-in comes in a mono-spec configuration, including standard equipment such as adaptive cruise control, a panoramic sunroof, and a rear seat entertainment system, all for $76,090. That's about $14,000 less than the 740ES base price and $21,500 cheaper than the outgoing S550E and those sedans require numerous expensive option packages to get many of the features that come standard on the Cadillac. The hybrid also costs only a few thousand dollars more than a comparably equipped CT6 with the twin-turbo 3.0-liter engine, the only conventional powertrain that can match the plug-in's performance.